long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. We came back to downtown Disney for another shopping restoration. This time it was the Star Wars one. And finally, the Ahsoka Tano's Legacy Lightsaber came here in the Disneyland Resort. So we're here. We were able to purchase one. These were 200? Yeah, about 200. And no pass holder um, discount applicable. Let me show you here on the side. Remember back in our previous vlog, we'll link it up right there, uh, we talked about the Kyber Crystals yep. that were only released in Walt Disney World. Well, mm -hmm. guess what? They released here too. And yes, we did get them. And they are the... Yoda and Darth Vader 8-Ball, because some people call it 8-Ball because they're the ones giving you advice. <laughs> so in that previous vlog, um, we actually had black tap and guess what? For lunch, we're having black tap again. I guess every time we go to a shopping restoration with Star Wars, we get black tap. But yep. Anyway, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. But um, we talked a little about this and we'll be talking about this again. So we put the lightsabers down so I can show you what's so cool about the Kyber crystals. But before that, my brother's going to show you a little demonstration from this. So get ready, guys. All right, guys, this is the lightsaber casing. This is how it comes. And every casing has a little symbol. Um, this is Ahsoka symbol, which is another, um, you guys know from um, Star Wars Rebels. Her full name is Fulcrum, which actually Anakin came out with that name. So here it is. She's known for the, in the Clone, Clone Wars series. Also the, the movie as well. The movie came out before the Clone Wars series. And also she recently appeared in The Mandalorian, which uh, these are not the hilts for it. Hilts are actually available right now, but today these are the Clone Wars. What makes them special about them is that these are color changing kilts. These are our first ones. Now, a lot of people are speculating the new Lakes of Light Terror that the fan picked one was is Cal Kestis. So, m prob probably people might think that also will be a color changing, which a lot of people are interested in that one as well. Alright, this is how we remove them. These come out like these. They have these belt clips. So, this is what you clip onto your belt. Here's the button to turn off and on. Same here, there's a turn button off. If you notice, it kind of matches, blends in with the, the black here, the buttons to change the color right, for this one. There you go. There they are. We'll show you in a bit how they change the color. It right there, you can tell from those directions, just hold the blade for three seconds or to change color. All right, and this is how you turn it on from this side and this side. That's how it looks. That's how the blade looks. Now you might ask yourself, they are two different sizes, and it's true. One size is bigger and one size smaller. Well, this size is the main attack. This size is um, for a disco, is the main for the attacking. Mode. And it's known as the Shuto blade, which is smaller. Actually, it's pronounced Shoto. Continue. It's more for defense. So this is your, this is your primary hilt to attack, and it's your defense. It's only for defense, it's not meant for attacking. It's more for protection. So now we're going to change the color of the blades. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. And that's it. Come out. And now these come out in the Clone Wars, the new, the new season of Clone Wars. They show it off. This is where Anakin gives back um, Silpa's lightsabers. Done in Battle of Mandalore. They are blue, which Anakin quotes. I make them better. And you notice from the sound, you hear it sounds familiar. Well, it's the sound mixed with the blue blade and the white blade. That's what it is. So the, blue, the white blade actually has now, right? At this moment from the Mandalorian. All right, guys, I'm gonna wave it for you so you can hear the sound effects. So like your polished stainless steel. They're really good quality. It feels nice build and they're also quite light. Alright guys, I'm going to show you the holocron. Alright guys, so when you actually get your legs as light server, when you put your blade, don't get scared. It's just, just remember, remove the cap. There you go. And also, when you get your legacy lightsabers, they will not come with the blade. You have to purchase the blade separate. This one costs $44.99 because it's a small blade. As for the larger blade, it will cost you about Oh. It will cost you about $49.99, which is 
and also same for the medium size. Only the small one will cost you that. But right now there is a deal for buying three blades of each size will cost three thirty dollars each. And I say it's not a bad deal for if you're getting the Ahsoka Tunnel Legacy lightsabers for any of those. Because for the Ahsoka blades you do need a long and a short to complete the ensemble of how to look. Alright guys, and here's the Kyber Crystals and the Holocrons. You know the triangular one is the Sith Holocron and then the cute one is the Jedi Holocron. Which is um, kind of cool. Like I, One thing I like these, my, my favorite one is the Jedi one. It's because I like has the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, there you go. And these were at Galaxy Edge one day premiere. Got like a little puzzle. There you go. You might hear it. Find the button. There's just little black dots. I don't know if you can see it. But the little black dots, just press them both together at the same time, and it will come up. This is Master Obi Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen, with the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. If you press more, you continue more than missiles. This message is a warning and a reminder for any surviving Jedi. Trust in the Force. Do not return to the temple. That time has passed. And our future is uncertain. Turn it here. It will turn right here. Both sound similar. But this little has a little darkness flare to it. And there's a little two dogs. You find them here. Impressive. And it will do... And then there's something um, interesting. A lot of people know by you combine these two holograms together, which in the show sometimes they tell you do not, but here in Galaxy Edge they encourage you. It turns different. You might notice they both change the same color into this dark purple. And a character will pop out for both of them. I think they did well not for me. Jedi and Sith wield the Ashlar and Bogan. The light and the dark. I'm the one in the middle, the Bendu. So that is a character from the uh, Star Wars Rebels. You see it in season three. And now we're gonna show you the Kyber Crystals how they both sound. All right, guys, we're gonna try to pop in the Yoda one, the Yoda Guidance. Just a little plastic, nothing much, just a Kyber Crystal, a little sparkly, sparkly. They, that's how they could tell from the uh, from the regular kyber crystal and the and uh, guidance kyber crystal. And this one does have a little paper. We'll go right in the description box for you to know. All right. For the holocron, let's find the little door. Pop the little door out here. If it lets me. If it wants to. There you go. Pop the little door. It has a little hole for you to put the kyber crystal. Put it in there. And it will change the color of the Kyber Crystal. In this case, it will be changed green for Yoda. Now, ask, of, ask away. Are we gonna have dinner tonight? Mm, yes. The Force will be with you. <laughs> so, another question? Am I gonna get a free cupcake today? Shrouded in darkness, this path is. So, not cupcake today. <laughs> So that's basically it. Like you basically put your kyber crystal in here, and you put any colors you want, any of the colors of your kyber crystal you want. Of the light side. Of the light side. Now you put a dark one, it will come a different message. It will come out Yoda saying, prompting another message. So it it does work if you put a dark. It will, side? but it will not work for example. If you have a Darth Vader one, it will not come out Darth Vader. It will still come out Yoda saying. Yeah, I recommend you not going down this path. Oh, okay. So warning you. You're warning you. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna try the Sith holocron, which the door is easier because I could find the door. It's right here. It's only one side. Pop up the Dark Vader one. Let's take cap. And again, there's no reason why, but they still put the black covering on the red Kyber crystal for your safety, so you don't find the black Snoke one. I'm just joking. And also comes a little paper. We'll write the description as well. Put this up back in. Pop the little door up here. Okay. One thing that's a little tricky about the uh, the Sith Holocron is that when you try to pop the door, it might 
pull on trims off itself. That's a little notch here. And of course, all red kyber crystals are red. But in the red kyber crystals, they do have different voices. So it's like a more like a mystery bag. You're buying which stuff. All right. Now, ask a question. Getting a corn dog today. Everything's about food. The future is shrouded. Am I driving home today? <laughs> yes. Yes. Why did well, I ask that? <laughs> oh well, you're driving today. So that's basically it. They, they're the eight. They're the eight ball or the guidance one. How am I gonna get a ride home today? The force is with you. Success is within your grasp. Okay. Like I said from the last video, these are the guidance. Um, the guidance council released at Walt Disney World. They came here for, for the, the shopping reservation. But um, the Darth Vader one was actually released earlier when Galaxy Edge opened. But it didn't come in this color. It actually came in regular canisters. So these are where the hidden ones. They're like the chasers. In order to find out where uh, is the Darth Vader 8 ball, you have to get a holocron and put it in and keep checking if is it or not. All right, I just wanted to show you when you buy the holocron, they come in these little pouches. This is for the Jedi one, and then this one's for the Sith one. They are rechargeable. And here's the little cable. And here's the tag. So they're $49.99 each. The Sith holocron. And here's the cable to charge them. You know I caught something come out from the sewers, right? It's a Dialga. What it is? It's a monster that grabbed Luke in the garbage chute. It's a puppet too. It's all rubbly and tingly and it's coming for you. <laughs> Were you the only person who bought this? Because this is disgusting. There's not. Does it stick to the wall? There you go, found him. Alright, oh, there you go, moves his head up and down. Promise, we came to Black Tap. We're gonna order. Here's the QR code so you can scan and get the menu. You order here and you pick up on this other window. Well, after that terrifying thing my brother just did, he owes me dinner. So, that is anything terrifying. Let's what get a good meal. And guys, when you're scrolling down the menu, there's a little playlist for you to listen to. So like a waiting room. Are you here to help me search the Lost Dialga? <laughs> yes, you are. Alright guys, thank you again for joining us. It was a fun distribution. I hope you guys enjoyed and had fun with us. And I got a free cupcake for Sprinkles! If you order through the app and you accumulate your reward points, you end up getting a free cupcake. So I got a free cupcake. It's actually the festive one that it's also, I believe it's a collaboration with Fancy Sprinkles. So stay tuned. We'll show you in the car. Again, we can't consume food here in the parks or on property. So we'll show you in the car. We're just waiting for our order over at Black Tap and then we're gonna go home. So thanks again for joining us and stay tuned and don't forget to check us out on Practically Perfect everybody. And our, um, the photography page we also have because we'll be posting a lot of pictures from the merchandise we got today. So thank you again for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. All right guys, so here is our holly jolly cupcake from Sprinkles. So pretty. This is another collab with uh, Fancy Sprinkles. So let's try it. So this time the sprinkles are fancy now? Yes. It's so pretty. Like, it's super festive. Right? It's a red velvet, by the way. Ooh. Hopefully it doesn't let us down. The, the Halloween one wasn't that bad, but it wasn't the best. They look its best. They're all fancy. Actually, this one's a little better. It's actually pretty moist compared to the one from Halloween. It's actually really good. When Sprinkles reopened, we tried all the cupcakes available in their menu. And I'll make sure I'll link that video. <laughs> I ended up liking the vegan red velvet over the regular red velvet. But this one is actually better than the one we had that first time. Because it's fancy, that's why. Fancy Sprinkles? Yeah. That's what I like from Cola the last... with Fancy Sprinkles? La like the last video. All fancy. So not sponsored? Okay guys, so we also stopped by um, Charlie Treats inside DCA because we had to come say hi. 
and they are starting to package them in the paper bags instead of the cellophane ones and they put a little mickey sticker on it so they can keep them closed and we are going to try something we've never tried and that is the rice crispy with m ms it has milk chocolate and then drizzle with more chocolate so let's give it a try mm. that's very really good you like it mm -hmm. i wonder if they're adding more marshmallows though probably they used to be like super dried no i was not a fan of them I used to buy the prepackaged ones. Those were like really, really good. All right, on to the food. We, like we said, we did stop by Black Tap and um, we ended up getting food. Now they stapled the bag. We're gonna try to show you guys. We're kind of in a crowded spot, but um, they stapled the bag and then on the lids, we got a strawberry lemonade. On the lids, they put a little sticker here so you don't, you're not tempted and sticking your straw and drinking some. So they're trying to, everyone's trying to be really precautious and um, be safe about it. All right guys, so this is the bag from Black Tap. There are staples all over the bag, that way you don't open it. And they do put all of your utensils and straws and napkins and everything in there. All right, you guys ready? We order an extra side, well two extra sides of the buttermilk deal, which is the ranch because my brother's obsessed with that. Crispy chicken salad, I'll make sure I write all the details down below. It looks like it has like um, roasted tomatoes or something. Oh, it does. I think it Sun does. Sun-dried tomatoes. It looks it's really so nice. Good. The awesome part is that it's still kind of warm. <laughs> yeah. Because we, after we picked up food, we did stop um, by Charlie Treats, like I told you guys. Here are the onion rings oh, and cool. the Korean barbecue uh, wings. Nice. A new thing, which is the crispy Brussels. Brussels sprouts. Like kid says, ew. Hope that they don't have bacon, because sometimes like they like adding people like adding um bacon, bacon to bacon, vegetables. Yeah. No, to the Brussels sprouts. Oh, okay. And my brother's favorite, the fried pickles. Yay! So we have a tower of food. They added like a bunch of utensils. I think this this is meant to be a feast for like seven people. All right, let's go find the seven people. <laughs> and the strawberry lemonade, that as you guys saw, but. We're going to start eating and I hope you guys enjoyed and um, we'll check with you guys in a little bit. Alright. Alright, so here are the Brussels sprouts. Let's try one with that. I love Brussels sprouts by the way. And then let's try the sauce. Sauce looks a little weird. I don't remember what the sauce is, but I can do without. Yeah. And the Brussels sprouts are really good. They're a little oily for me. Mm. Um, I don't think I will be eating too much of it, but they're pretty good. Gotcha. And I tried your fried pickles. And mm -hmm. This one, this batch actually was better than the first one we had. <laughs> they're getting better. Yep. Close enough to carnation? Mm -mm. No? No. The carnation has um, parmesan. Mm. They're parmesan crusted. Gotcha. And these ones are like tempura. Mm, gotcha. You want to try? Sure. All right, guys. So this is the Caesar salad. One third of it are picture. Um, we were so hungry, we started eating it before we could show it to you guys. But now it's time to drive home. <laughs> <You're> so mean. <laughs> The things you make me do with a vlog. I didn't care for that. <laughs> <laughs>